one thing to always remember when you're hunting a turkey. It's really hard to call him, hard to kill. And uh, it's patience, persistence.
across the field, stood on a knoll strutted. Then he walked down a hill, kind of to the swag. There's a big tree in my way, I couldn't see him. I spotted a hen coming around the field. I figured she was going to it. I leaned around the tree. He was standing inside the woods about 10 yards, which is about a 90 yards away from me. Just standing there strutting. I can't see past this tree. I'm assuming he followed that hand, but not sure. I tree yapped him, he was interested. And uh, I saw the hen fly off, went down the field. She was picking down across the field. And uh, anyway, he flew off and he stood in the corner just off camera, strutted for a long time. He finally started across the field. That hen went on across, she fed out there. And she finally went on across the field. And he come across the field. I'm sure you can see that in the camera. He was just out too far for me to take a shot. He's probably 80 yards. And uh, he was still hanging around. He went off camera to the right. And uh, for whatever reason, I don't know, he broke and run across the field. I don't know if there's a coyote in the woods or he lost sight of the uh, hen, I'm not sure. But anyway, he just broke and run. He stopped, looked, and then broke and run again. Uh, I think he probably lost sight of that hen. He was trying to keep up with her. I've been messing with this bird for about three trips, three or four trips now. It's been a good day out in the woods. That's the way it goes.
So what is happening, people? <clears throat> it is, right now, it is 11.53. And I just killed this turkey. I killed him at 11.24. Been a long morning, but patience paid off, finally. Uh, pretty good spurs. He's got inch and a quarter spurs. And roughly, it's a pretty good beard. I don't know bird. I had to drop the camera. Sorry about that. Um, this bird, this is I think my fourth hunt on this particular bird. And he's been hanging out in these pastures around these fields. And uh, several other of the videos, he's been circling us. And uh, just staying out of gun range, 60, 85 yards. I had him at 85 yards strutting the other day. Uh, down the hill from decoys, wouldn't come in. And uh, so, because I hunted this turkey so many times, I knew that he liked this one particular field we've been setting up on all morning, the field that you've seen the hen picking in. The woods was quiet this morning, and I think he gobbled early on uh, back on the other ridge, away from us a long ways. Anyway, at 9.30, the turkey gobbled in a different field. And I did not call to him. And there was a hen out there in the field. And about 30 minutes later, he had circled me, and I called to him. And he circled me even more. Um, he was going right to left. And he gobbled three or four times, so I knew he was interested. But I knew he wasn't going to come in. So I just I, I, I did minimal calling. Very light call. So anyway, he circled us back on this ridge behind us. And he went all the way about 180 degrees around. Went back out in another field and he would gobble. And about every 30 minutes he would gobble. So he was staying close enough to be uh, interested. And he got in this field behind me. And uh, he would go down the field and then go back. And so at, at, at some point I knew, I said, it's getting towards the middle of the day. I've got to make a move. I've got to cut the distance to him. He's not coming to me. I've got to go to him. So anyway, I shucked the camera. Uh, I couldn't, if I'd had the camera with me, I wouldn't have killed this turkey. So I dropped the camera, dropped my vest, one mouth diaphragm on my mouth. And uh, I had a pretty good ridge. I used the terrain to my advantage. I had a pretty good ridge between me and him. And I had assumed he was in the field. And uh, so I was able to uh, just get down low and come up the side of the ridge. But from probably me to the top of the ridge, I had to get down and I had to crawl on my hands and knees. Crawl to the top of the ridge and I didn't see him in the field. And so I didn't panic, I knew he was close. And so I was on my knees up the side of a tree, just scanning with my eyes, watching through the woods out in the field and uh, trying to figure out which way he had went. I thought maybe I had actually passed him and he had went back down the field. And uh, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes went by, saw some movement down through the woods. And he was actually on his way back around to where I had first called from him. He was, he was just doing a half moon, back and forth around, waiting on the hen to come to him. And uh, I got the gun up, Got a good sight picture on him, and boom, uh, one dead turkey. So that is not typical of what you would want to a turkey hunt to be. You'd have to get up and crawl through the woods, but hey, this was a smart bird. And this bird was not an easy bird to kill. So like I said, I've been on this bird four times, and sometimes the hardest birds are the most rewarding birds to actually get to take. But anyway, sometimes you have to do what you have to do have to be really sneaky sometimes to cut the distance down on these birds. And uh, like I said, sorry folks, I didn't get it on camera, but hey, I need to kill a turkey. This is a third week of turkey season. And uh, so anyway, hey guys, you will remember, it's a wild life and I'll see you in the field. <laughs>